signs of a massive kundalini activation. I'm talking about those paradigm shifting experiences, those life changing moments. And what is kundalini anyway? I'm excited to make a major announcement, earth1111.com. My website is finally up and running. You guys can go up there and register. It only takes literally a few seconds. And this is going to be the community's new ethical, open source social media platform. So there'll be no stealing of data, no selling of data, a positive growth oriented um, community, totally free. So head right now to earth 11com and start your profile and you can also create groups and we can private message each other and find your soul family members. And of course I have all my YouTube videos on there from the last three years. I have hundreds of YouTube videos and they're all categorized. You guys can also search via keywords and my blogs on there. So every single post that I make on all my platforms will be on the blog. So make sure you guys check it out right now, earth1111.com. Hey, it's Roxanne, Earth1111. Please share the video, subscribe, hit the bell. Don't forget to comment your experiences with Kundalini and like the video. It really helps my videos get seen to more people. So thank you so much for your support. So I'm gonna be diving deeper into Kundalini and karma and timelines, the crystalline light body, um, Christ consciousness, and so much more in future videos. So Kundalini isn't some random universal force that, that's ignited in your tailbone. It is you, it is your energy synthesizing in the physical. So we're literally bringing down higher dimensional levels of plasma, merging with them in the physical. And so Kundalini is a huge neutralizing force. It is a cleansing force. So once we ignite our Kundalini energy, there's no going back. It will begin a process of cleansing and purifying all aspects of your life. So it can be your physical body. It can be purifying toxins, thought forms, emotions, anything stuck within the body, old programming. Everything comes up. So it can also be in your life. All of a sudden, your life is no longer working. You have these paradigm shifting moments where you realize that you're living a lie or that you need to change your life immediately. In a quantum experience where you have this eye-opening, life-changing, near-death experience, or you have this journey where you go through the, the universe, where you have spirits coming to you, or you were existing in a fractal sacred geometry web of energy where you have just these insights instantly about what am I doing in life and I got to change it now. So these major things can happen because we are opening all these chakras in alignment. So this is your ascension vehicle. Otherwise, we just have so many blockages because everything is now spinning the wrong way, creating these veils, closed energy, where the Kundalini can't get through. So your Kundalini energy, really you want it moving freely through the body. So this is caused by all the traumas we have, by all the stuck emotions, all the limiting beliefs, anything that we hold in our body, in our energy body, in our chakras, is going to now prevent our energy from moving freely, our Kundalini energy, connecting on all levels of ourself. So this is how we build our multidimensional light body and how we perceive reality completely different than when we are just going through the motions in a normal life. So this is why when we have those massive Kundalini activations, they can be life-changing, paradigm-shifting, so it's a neutralizing force that moves through the spine. So there's a lot of inverted ideas about Kundalini. Every layer of consciousness, of reality, we have to realize has been infiltrated by um, 
really parasitic forces. You can call this the darkness, the shadow, um, you know, draconians, reptilians, archons, whatever you want to call this. This is our ego aspects, these traumas. So wherever we allow a trauma or we hold a trauma within ourselves, there is a blind spot. Every aspect of you that is unconscious. Right? So this is why society is trying to create such a society based on AI, you know, artificial intelligence. It wants everything and everyone to be so separate from connecting all the dots and really so segregated and divided. So you can't really get a whole picture of anything. And so, of course, right, these systems don't want you to have your kundalini activated. When we ignite kundalini, we start all of these blind spots, these blockages start coming to the surface. And if you really have a huge kundalini activation, you can go into a lot of almost psychosis because you get to the point where you don't have your heart open, which is the main really shortcut to kundalini because you want to get into the center point. But a lot of times people use things like psychedelics or ayahuasca, kundalini yoga, um, or, or things just happen to ignite the kundalini. You know, um, an accident happens, a trauma, a heart awakening. And so we're not ready for this energy, but, but it begins the process of, of unearthing every single thing that we, we don't want to look at everything in our life that is not aligned to the core of our truth because literally that kundalini energy is that connection where you connect yourself right back all the dots are connected every single layer and level of, of your consciousness you you now have access to so you are synthesizing higher levels of yourself of your divine aspects into the physical and so we're overriding our own timelines and realities. Like I mentioned in my other video, your hidden reality exposed, the third eye, the sixth dimension, right, which is our pineal gland, is your antenna for all of these higher frequency realities, all these more encompassing plasma fields. So it's able to now perceive a whole new reality and override your basic five senses. So now you're able to now experience reality on a whole new level. And this will give you that massive paradigm shift. So with Kundalini, things usually get worse before they get better because we have a lot of these um, energies have to be work, worked out, healed, looked at, and neutralized. And after that happens, we are existing in a more aligned state, more aligned to our soul, to our soul mission, to our happiness, where we start existing in a flow state. But then, of course, we need high levels of mastery to hold this energy because it, it is literally a powerful force. It's an electrical force, and it moves through the middle hara line of the spine so this is the neutral place where you are aligned right through every level every dimension of the universal time matrix right back to source so you are fractaled out along this hara line through you now we should be ideally having our our kundalini activated right from birth but of course, we live in a society that has been trying to create you from being separate from source, from your light, from your higher self. You are separate from your body. Society creates a lot of programming, a lot of separation, right? It's literally the fourth dimension, separation consciousness, where we have everyone kind of living with way too many blinders they're living fractal lives because they're a fractal soul so when we're able to activate our kundalini and we do this again by having our vibration go up by 
being in our heart by cleansing and purifying the physical body. So that's a big one, right? A lot of people think that they can override that just by, like I said, doing some psychedelics or some Kundalini yoga. But if your heart and your physical body is not ready for this amount of power moving through it, and for all the stuff to come up for you to look at, if you're not ready for that, you're gonna go into a very heavy dark night of the soul. And this is also, um, you know, can really cause a lot of ascension symptoms because your physical body is not ready to you, to hold these higher currents of energy. We literally need to become masters. So everything that really is hidden from you, all those blind spots, all those areas in your life that you're not sovereign will come up for you to change. And we don't want that, of course, right? Our ego doesn't want that. You have all the dots connected. So you can see truth from a lie. You can see what's going on in the world. You, you can see what's going on in your in yourself, right? You're, you're able to catch yourself when your ego starts acting out and go back into realignment. You stop um, allowing things that are unaligned to be in your life. And so you start changing on a, really a core level. And society doesn't want people like that, right? The system that's been, again, infiltrated by these forces, all these parts of, you know, the collective shadow that creates these programs and, and really has infiltrated many religious studies and esoteric practices use the reverse and inverted tree of life and Kundalini and so, so many people are practicing these opposite ways and they're getting themselves further from, from essentially synthesizing with their own oneness. They're getting further into separation, separate from heart with mind, further separate of feminine and masculine, further away from self-actualization, further away from knowingness, further away from connecting all the dots of themselves of the world, of the universe, right? They, they think of spiritual practice as something that you, you go and do for an hour, right? You go and do a Kundalini yoga practice for an hour a day, and then you go back to your normal life. Well, that's not what Kundalini is gonna ask you to do. It's gonna make you change on every level of your life, of your thinking, your belief patterns, you know, every single limiting anything will come up and it will come up strongly. So as we go deeper within the body, deeper within ourself, deeper within every single core level of ourself, every dimension, that's where we end up becoming so anchored within the body, so anchored within ourself, that that is how the Kundalini energy connects and starts moving through the body. When you start activating these higher levels of yourself, higher aspects, these divine aspects. So these could be angels, guides, they could be um, galactics or gods, goddesses. So these really are more divine aspects of yourself and you're able to synthesize that into matter, into the physical. So Kundalini begins a, an alchemical process a purifying every aspect of yourself so you become a unified plasma field. So another thing we hear, of course, is Kundalini is, is two separate, you know, serpent energies, you know, spiraling together, weaving together up the spine. And it's not two separate aspects at all, two separate channels of energy. It's actually a merging of those two channels into the center hara line of the spine. So whenever you hear someone talking about two separate anything, that is duality. That is literally duality. You know, good versus bad. Well, no, we have to be in neutral. We neutralize the bad. We neutralize evil. Another thing 
that, that we hear is Kundalini is this, you know, snake energy of the universe or serpent energy. Well, it's a good metaphor to use because it really is a transforming, a transformation of every part of us. And really these energies do feel like they're spiraling. So they are kind of, you know, that serpent weaving energy, but they're definitely not two separate forces, right? Again, whenever you hear that, you know, it's the masculine imbalance with the feminine. Well, it's no, it's, it's the merging of the feminine and the masculine. It's the merging of the light and the shadow. And that's what the Kundalini energy does. It neutralizes everything because it is a neutral energy. Alchemizes every single thing in your life on every level. So, of course, society that is built on all these artificial you know, paradigms, beliefs, all these really death culture, parasitic forces, right? Our, our society is based on a lot of very limiting surface level beliefs and if people had any, had the ability to see beyond that to experience reality beyond that that just that survival of just getting by then society would really start dissolving quickly right the pillars in society would really start dissolving and that's what's happening right now so of course we have seen now again these infiltrations of the systems ramp up right now of course we're seeing toxicity everywhere right they're trying to make everyone toxic sick separate uh, divided and and we see an amping up of this everywhere so of course right with our kundalini energy we have to have our heart open that's really the shortcut if your heart isn't open and you start bringing in energy through, you know, via your third eye or your pineal gland and you start raising your consciousness but your heart keeps closing, then you're gonna have issues. So that's really what causes things like you know, psychosis. You can have major ascension symptoms. You could feel like you are just losing it. Um, you can be going on these you know, rages or, or these emotional um, explosions. Um, you can feel like you're being attacked, right, by darkness and by entities. And, and all of that happens because you have opened up your pineal gland and your third eye. And, and these, you know, you're experiencing in these higher realities, but you haven't done your own work. So what happens is you experience the, the most densest realms first, which really is all the traumas of yourself and all these little fractal aspects and you know and traumatized parts of you that are hidden hidden in time and space and so when you raise your consciousness when you open up the pineal gland and you, and you start really bringing in higher levels higher frequencies higher plasma which is really what's happening right now in the world too we're having massive solar flares and energies coming in on multiple levels coming into the planet and into us, recoding our DNA. And so, of course, the densest levels of the shadow come up first. It's the parts we don't want to look at, don't want to, you know, see. As we purify those parts of ourselves, right? We go through the dark night of the soul. We, we get ourselves into a higher state. We have our heart open. We end up becoming, you know, more in those, those states of being grateful and thankful and... It, in the flow state and then we're able to purify you know the next layer and layers of density and so it becomes a complete process that goes on forever of purifying higher and higher levels of yourself where you can merge with them because essentially we are bringing energy into the body we are we are going deeper within the core of our center point of our zero point which is that that horror line, that neutral state. And Kundalini is a neutralizing force because when you have your energy merged together in the center, that is where your power is. That is where your alignment is back into your soul, back, back into every level of yourself. So what happens is all the artificial parts of you 
or those traumatized parts of you, those, um, you know, ego aspects, these lower parts of you start dissolving because as you go closer to the core of yourself, everything that isn't true for you start, starts going away, starts losing power. And so of course you're going to have, you know, so many things in your life change. Everything that isn't in alignment, you will know it will come up and it will be obvious. You won't be able to handle it anymore. You know, whereas yesterday you might, might have been fine. So that's why also why Kundalini is a, is a cleansing process is that neutralizing force because as we go deeper within that neutral state all duality dissolves and we go into a higher consciousness level we go into zero point and we start really detaching from where we are in the universal time matrix and reconnecting into a higher timeline into the future and we bring that future into this now moment into this physical plane so again that is why everything in society tries to prevent people's kundalini from from being activated right they're telling us you know stay out of the sun slap on those sunglasses on that sunscreen where they don't want you in the sun because the sun is a very strong kundalini neutralizing cleansing force this channel of yours comes through the sun it goes beyond the sun but it comes through the sun so of course you know the system tells you stay away from the sun it's terrible it's bad you know we are bombarded with toxins 24 7 trying to calcify your pineal gland now your pineal gland is your third eye this is your ability to start perceiving higher realities in this physical plane because we are literally becoming plasma. So they don't want that. So they do everything to try to, you know, make this area shut down. And of course, make your heart shut down because your heart is that shortcut to Kundalini. If your heart's closed and you have activated your pineal gland, you can go into that psychosis. You can go into that schizophrenia. You can get yourself crazy and, you know, feeling bipolar and like you're going to lose it and like you can't quite have a handle on reality and that's because your heart's closed so that's why a lot of these spiritual practices involve trying to activate your third eye and your pineal gland and to try to do all of these you know spiritual practices where you leave the body where you astral journey or you go up so when we leave the body, when we move upwards, we're actually getting further from the body and that's further from us. Your true self is always going to be inside the deepest part of your body, the deepest parts of yourself. You never leave. When spiritual or psychic practices or religion tries to get you to leave the body, that's the opposite of what you want, right? You're getting further from your core truth. You're getting further into duality, which is what you don't want. So I'm going to be diving deeper into Kundalini and karma and timelines, the crystalline light body, um, Christ consciousness, and so much more in future videos here in December. The online course is called Ascension Alchemy. And it's a six-week course all about all the process of ascension and transforming your entire life and yourself on every single level. I have jam packed so much into this course, so it's gonna be six weeks. And you guys can find that as well on my website, Earth 1111. And right now I have a 50% off sale on this week. So for $111, so much information over my 20 years of ascending and doing spiritual practices and I'm really experiencing every single thing that I went through. Thanks so much. Make sure you guys share the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and we'll see you on my new website. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.